Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is number 37, Intersecting Chords, as part of my IGCSE exam question series. If you do find it useful, please do like the video and subscribe. And for now, let's get on to the maths. Right, the formula which you need for intersecting chords, which is not given, is that A to the intersection point times B to the intersection point is equal to C to the intersection point times D to the intersection point. So we start with A to P, uh, which is 9, and we'll times that by B to P, which is 6. And that will equal um, C to P, which is 8, times by D to P, which is the unknown we're looking for, which is X. So this gives me 54. Um, and that gives me 8x. So um, x is equal to 54 over 8, which is um, 6.75. Perfect. OK, next question. And it's the same um, formula, even if you are outside of the circle. It's um, x to the intersection point times by y to the intersection point is equal to b to the intersection point multiplied by, in this case, c to the intersection point. So x to a is 12, y to a is 18, because you have to add both of those two together. b to a is 9, and um, c to a is 9 plus this distance, which we don't know, and the one we're looking for. But the whole of c to a is 9 plus x. OK, so we first do 12 times 18, uh, which is 216. We get 9x plus 81. Minus 81 from both sides gives me 135 is equal to 9x, and then divide through by 9, and we get 15. OK, next question, and we're asked to show that this is going to give me a quadratic, uh, but same thing, we need to um, do uh, x to the intersection point times by y to the intersection point is equal to b to the intersection point times by c to the intersection point. So x to a is 12. Um, y to a is all the way along here. So that's x plus 12. And uh, b to a is just x. And c to a is all the way along here. So that's x plus 4. OK, so multiplying out is going to give me uh, 12x plus 144. And multiplying out here is going to give me x squared plus 4x. Moving everything over to the right-hand side, I'm going to get an x squared. I'm going to minus 12x from 4x to get minus 8x. And I'm going to minus 144. And I get what they asked for. Perfect. And then it's asking me to work out the length of AC, showing you're working clearly and giving your answers to three significant figures. So the fact it's three significant figures um, implies I'm going to have to use the quadratic formula here. So I'm going to write x is equal to um, minus b, so minus minus 8, plus or minus the square root of minus 8 squared minus 4 times by a, which is 1, times by uh, c, which is minus 144. And that's all over 2a. So this will give me uh, when I type into my calculator, fraction button, we do minus minus is a plus, 
and then we'll do plus the square root of um, 8 squared is 64 minus 4 times 1 times minus 144 all over 2 and we're going to get 16.6 and the negative 1 will give me a negative answer so this is definitely the one which we're going to use yeah so the other one gives me a negative uh, so this is my correct answer for x but the question does ask for AC and AC is clearly x plus 4 so I would write that AC is equal to 16.6 plus 4 which is 20.6 okay real tricky question this one definitely give this one a go and then see if you get it right um, okay I'm gonna show you the solution now so first off we're gonna look at this um, set of intersecting chords whereby I will need to extend this one all the way down to here so in terms of the blue from the intersection point we have 7 on the left and on the other side we have 4 and then for the yellow we have 2 to the intersection point and then if I label this side here let's call that Y that's, that's Y so we're gonna have uh, 28 is equal to 2Y so y is equal to 14. Okay, so if y is 14, then the whole diameter is 14 plus 2. So the diameter is uh, 14 plus 2, which is 16. So therefore the radius is equal to 8. Okay, so we know the radius is equal to 8. So next I'm going to look at this intersecting chord which comes outside of the circle and I'm going to look at this line here as well. Now I know that this is 8 and this is 8 because we've just worked out the radius. So let's do an intersecting chord theorem for the blue line. So from B to the intersection is 5 and from A to the intersection is 7 plus 4 plus 5 which is um, 16 and for the yellow we have X and then that's from E to C and then from this edge over here uh, let's call it G whatever um, all the way to the intersection point is 8, 8, 16 plus x. So 16 plus x. So 5 times 16 is 80. And then multiplying out this bracket is going to give me 16x plus x squared. So setting equal to 0 is going to give me x squared plus 16x minus 80. And we can factorize this. Uh, two numbers are tied together to make minus um, 80 or plus 20 and negative 4 and they do add together to make um, 16 which is good um, which gives me that x is equal to minus 20 or x is equal to 4 um, and of course x must equal 4 because it can't be negative because it's a distance that was a really tricky question uh, anyway, if you enjoyed that or if you found it useful, please do like the video and subscribe and then have a look at the next topic. See you there. Bye for now.